Why Islam when there is many other religions? Well, that's the question I asked myself before I came to Islam. Why Islam? And when I did my research and what I was born with, the fitrah, there was a study done in Oxford University by Justin Barrett. He found that young kids who are not taught about Islam or Christianity or any other religion, they all had the inclination to believe in one God, not two, not three. So to me, I had that in, my, in myself, to believe in one God. But the question was, why Islam? I asked the same question to myself. And when I looked into it, I realized true monotheism in its true sense, because if you go to the Christians, they say we're monotheists and they believe three in one. You go to the Hindus, they say we believe one million gods is one. The point is this, pure monotheism in his worship and understanding of who God is, is only in Islam. Not only that, also when it comes to the Quran, it is the only scripture on this planet that is being preserved and has miracles that we can see. For example, if I go to a Christian and I say, look, I want to believe in Christianity. Show me, you say Jesus gave life to the dead and this died with the permission of God. Show me. Or if you go to the Jews and say Moses did that, show me. Can they show you? No, they can't. If they come and say to us, what's the miracle of the Quran? We'll say, here's the Quran and we can show you, touch it. You can feel it, you can uh, analyze it. Why? Because also we learn from this, the Quran is for all mankind. And you can see it, you can hear it, you can uh, examine it. But the miracles that the other prophets done, you can never prove that. That's why that was for that time specifically. And the Quran is for all times because we have a, a, a method, an oral tradition, which is the Quran, which we and many generations after us can examine and that's what I did before I came to Islam I examined it I read it I looked at the prophecies I looked at the miracles I said this can be no other than by, uh, by from Allah